morning guys welcome to fyi welcome 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 wherever you are joining us from around the world smash those emoji buttons to us folks and share the damn life welcome folks to each and every one of you wherever you're joining us from this morning it is our privilege to be here with you credible information credible and valid information credible information valid information it's your one stop place good to see each and every one of you joining us this morning wherever wherever you're joining me from some of y'all on twitter some of y'all on facebook some of y'all on youtube good to have each and every one of you as we begin good folks you landed thomas and beatrice selby tommy gibbs i see john jones is here as well and all the other folks it's a privilege to have each and every one of you you know what you got to do folks we got to share that life we got to smash that emoji button and we're going to keep on keeping on good folks we are definitely going to keep on keeping on great to have each and every one of you it's a privilege we trust that you guys have had a great weekend we trust that you guys are fired up and you are ready to go we ain't taking no prisoners this week guys last to share with you share that live smash that emoji button for us pace and power good folks that's how we're doing it pace and power we'll ensure that we'll share the descent to all the right places and to all the right people we don't want the any and the all sorts <laughs> folks we don't want the any and the all sorts happy breast cancer awareness month folks last to discuss on that front happy happy breast cancer awareness month last to discuss on that front as i have said good to have you here yellow pink is the color of breast cancer awareness month and only strong men folks we're pink we leave it that one there we're gonna leave that one there share the live guys it is great to be back with you folks on the home front good to have you pinky richmond claire alexis charmley good to have you here as well and all the other beautiful fantastic folks who are joining us welcome guys share 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 the like good morning robert london good morning Captain alton Pauline John, Chevron Fraser, good morning, you beautiful, fantastic folks out there. Really trust that the weekend was kind to you guys and love that you guys are here. It's early Monday morning. Some of you are probably going home from work, going to work, you know, having breakfast. Pull up a cup of something. We have a cup of strong black at this end, folks. Mm -hmm. A cup of strong black, folks. Strong, strong. Good to have you folks here with us, guys. We look forward to this time with you. We look forward to it, and we'd rather spend the time with no other folks. I see we got Sharon Alfonso Evans, Evans is here, Juliet Stewart. We got, uh, I see Carolyn Farley is here as well. All our beautiful, fantastic folks. I see uh, Merlin D. D. Jong is here too. D. Young is here. I see Karen Black. I see uh, Donna McDonald. I see Petula Boyce, uh, Reynold Warren, and all you other fantastic folks, guys. It is uh, breast cancer awareness month you all know we were there celebrating education month the last month we we're there celebrating heritage month as well we hope some of you got in on some of that heritage heritage month action guys it is really good to be here with you wherever you all are joining us from this morning we got a couple things to talk i know some of y'all went out yesterday and wind up your little selves and we can talk about some of that too yep 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 little 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 whining might be a good thing but it's very well, make it a habit. <laughs> Why not, Ali? We'll be talking about that and some other issues this morning. Gavin DeAndre, good to see you. Petal Brown, good to see you. Amanda Kendall, Renal Warren. Sh Sandra Facey is here as well, believe it or not. Edward Broom says present. The right present is too, we present. I have Natasha Congreves, Alison Pearson, and all the other beautiful folks. Please find some way in which you, uh, you recognize. A breast cancer awareness much and you know it even affects men breast cancer also affects men if you did not know that fyi yep yep fyi folks breast cancer also affects men please understand that breast cancer also affects men and we're going to be talking a little bit about how this year celebration uh, is, is growing the theme and that kind of stuff and uh, among some other issues among some other issues folks I'm just making sure we are good on all fronts at our end. Good to have you guys here with us. And please, guys, ensure that you share, share, share that life for us. Uh, smash that emoji button as well. And let's do what we got to do, folks. Let's do what we got to do, good people. Let's do what we got to do. 
Yep, yep, yep. Together we can. That's what they're telling us from Breast Cancer Awareness Month 2022. Together we can. That's the team. And indeed, together we can. And we hope to play our own small part here in terms of disseminating uh, breast, the breast cancer uh, information and awareness as well. And knowing that it, it affects both men and women. Together, we can overcome this. And it's a month dedicated to awareness, guys. Awareness not only... Um, in terms of uh, awareness, rather, in terms of fundraising, awareness in terms of exactly what this dreaded disease is. Yep, yep, yep. And we're going to be doing our part here on FYI where it concerns breast cancer awareness. Together we can. That's the team, folks. Together we can. Dan Graves, Andy, Pamela Johnson, and John Jones. Together we can. Marilyn Thomas. Together we can. Jamal Aziz, folks. Share the live wherever you're joining us from and smash, smash, smash that emoji button for us. Put up a cup of something with us, a cup of coffee, coffee tea, Milo tea, tea tea. Put up a cup of porridge, put up a cup of something, and I play too. My own preference is a little, some toast in the morning, maybe some cereal. But definitely, I gotta get my tea. I gotta get my tea, folks. Good to have each and every one of you here, guys. And so we're gonna be. Telling you day after day a little more and a little more about breast cancer awareness and especially as it concerns this year's celebration of breast cancer awareness. And October is the month dedicated to that. Good to have all of you guys here with us wherever you are joining us from this morning. It is really a privilege having you guys. I see Clifton uh, Smith is here. I see, uh, let me see some of the other folks we got joining us. Yolanda is here as well. Diane Graves. Andy, Diane, how's Lyndon? Good to have you, Lynette Fraser. I see Chandel Fredericks is here as well. I see, I see Beryl Crawford. Um, is it? Uh, yep, yeah, Beryl Crawford. I have out front parts. I think this name a little tingish for so early in the morning. A little tingish. Beryl Crawford, out front parts. I have Natasha Congreve. Chinsing Henry, good to have you. Welcome, 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 welcome. I want to say respect and manners to all of those folks there in. Uh, St. Kitts and Nevis, who are so welcoming. I want to say uh, respect and manners to those folks who would have hosted us. Respect and manners. And big thank you, guys. We, we could never repay you for your generosity in that way. And those folks are also in, in Antigua and Barbuda who were so gracious to the fore to us. We want to say thank you, guys. Thank you for your love, your support, and your generosity. Thank you to all of you folks. And I can be talking about uh, some of what I learned uh, being in Antigua and Barbados in Kitson Nevis over the last couple of days, uh, talking with Guyanese and trying to understand from them, you know, um, their own feelings about what's happening back home, how they intend to help, and how um, we can move forward together, folks. So all of those folks in Antigua and Barbuda and St. Kitts and Nevis, my Lord. Folks, those islands are so beautiful. So beautiful. I was telling some of the guys that you know, there's a school of thought that says that the world just happened, you know, Big Bang Theory and so on. But when you look at the majestic way in which, you know, those parts of the world were created, and we got we own, uh, we, we, our own immense uh, beauty in this country too. Uh, but when, when you look at how all that was created, folks, that can't happen by chance. Don't come wrong, we funny like that. You know, get out of days. That can't happen by chance. Telford, Kennedy, uh, McCurdy, Beryl Crawford, Michaela Andrews Coates, Andrews Coates. It can't happen by can't happen by fault. You know, it is designed so beautifully, and I dare say, intelligently designed beautifully. Uh, folks, let me know if you are hearing me loud and clear. The technicians who are on duty, the folks say uh, my colors look good. I love I love bright colors every now and again, every now and again. Yeah, and I I I know myself. So it's gonna be a shocking pink, hot pink, cold pink, green, blue. You know. <laughs> Larry Thomas, good to see you. And Diane, golly God, how are you doing? How are things by you? And I see Gwendolyn Alonso is here and Marilyn Thomas. All the other folks who are joining us this morning. It is such a tremendous privilege to be here with you lovely, beautiful folks. We'll have it no other ways. Quite a few things to get through, folks, as we begin this morning, guys. As we begin, as we said, for those of you who are now joining, we're saying happy, happy, happy Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's a month really and truly to reflect on how far we've come, how far we've gone, and how, how much more needs to be done, folks. Uh, precisely how much more 
needs to be done. A lot of work, a lot of work, a lot of work still out there to be done where it concerns uh, breast cancer awareness, folks. And I, I really hope that all of us can do our own little bit um, to help in this regard, uh, you know, spreading spreading that message of breast cancer awareness because, as I said, it not only affects women, but it also affects men. And this year's team, guys, this year's team, this year's team, they're telling us uh, it's together we can. I think I think it's a beautiful team. Together we can, and we can overcome all the obstacles. Indeed, we can overcome all of the all of the challenges. Each and every one of them, good folks, we can overcome them. Together we can. Together we can. Believe it or not, together we can. And we gotta do all that is within us uh, to to overcome these challenges. Believe it or not, folks, they're telling us internationally it is estimated that 290,000 new cases of invasive breast cancer are expected to be diagnosed. And expected 43,000 people will lose their lives to metastatic breast cancer. Yep, yep, yep. And, you know, the figures locally are a little more difficult to come by, but we are going to do our own bit to talk about screening and talk about early detection and all those other things beautiful because again together together guys together as they're telling us together we can indeed together we can yep 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 share the live folks smash that emoji button and let's have a go at it good folks share the live smash that emoji button for us guys Good to have each and every one of you here, wherever you're joining us from. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we really, 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 we really, really want that to sink in because we are going to be. Yep, apologies there. We are going to be doing our bit as well from this end, as we say. Breast Cancer Awareness Month 2022, folks. Together, indeed. Together, together, together. Together we can. Good to have each and every one of you. Wherever you beautiful, fantastic folks are joining us from this morning. And we are going to begin to have a go at it. Lots of information to share with you good folks. Lots and lots and lots and lots of information to share with you guys. And good to have you folks here. I think we're going to start. Where, we, where do we start this morning? We start in the morning papers, good folks. And good to have all of you guys here. Again, we trust you guys have had a fantastic weekend. And we trust you're going to have a, an even better week. Productive, uh, focused week, guys, on all the things that matter. On all the things that matter. Uh, first and foremost, guys, I think we got a lot of stuff to discuss in the morning papers. A lot of, a lot of headlines we're seeing. I see uh, Patricia Asan is here with us and Joel Why? I see Glenn Ford Gordon. I see, look, folks, if you see anybody... Uh, in the comments, they're behaving, behaving silly. Box them for me. <laughs> I beg you all. Box them for me. I label them personally. Box them for us. Once you see they're behaving silly, box them for us. Another thing is in the morning papers, guys. The BB Triumph NDC sued for 143 acres of cancelled land. Yep. yep. I thought the folks said that they, that they were no longer interested in this land. So how come, how come, how come we sing the... NDC, the BP Better for Acting Triumph NDC being sued. I thought the folks say they had no interest in this land. You see the chairman, the, I thought the chairman, I saw some comments attributed to the chairman of the Triumph BV, BV Triumph NDC. I thought the fellow said he has resigned. I thought he had resigned. Now I saw some comments attributed to him saying that he feels as though he was, uh, he feels as though he, uh, the, the, uh, somebody's trying to bully in his words, somebody is trying to bully the NDC. Interesting. Very, very interesting. They believe somebody's trying to bully the NDC. <laughs> Good folks. Very interesting times. And it seems as though the same people who had a hand in bringing the, uh, the, the NDC to where it is currently now saying that it looks as though some folks want to bully the NDC to acquire this 143 acres of land. Oh, my my, my, my. We're going to be following all of that, folks, but it just tells us 
how some of these councils have gone a little rogue and we got to pull them back. We got to pull them back, whether they're uh, coalition um, led or they are PVP led. You know, we got to pull them back because some of them really going rogue. And especially those who, uh, that, are, that are PPP led councils, my lord. They're only going rogue, they're far out. <laughs> they, they, they're far out, but we got to pull them back. So it's interesting. It's interesting to see these developments at the BV Triumph and the And we're going to be getting some more uh, info on that. And as we get it, uh, folks, we're going to be sharing that with you. Love on Joseph, Akila Wright, and Valeria Marcus. Good to have each and every one of you with us. Good to have you folks with us. Joel Award, good to have you. And John Ramachendo, uh, the, the beloved uh, commissioner at the Local Government Commission. John Ramachendo, we see you there. And really, really good to have you. Good to have each and every one of you. Yep, good to have you folks with us. And we're moving along, folks, and some of, some of, the, some of the stories uh, making the morning papers. Oh, I flood estate. I flood estate. We hear them boys about the true party. And I flood estate, and we're going to tell you why. Right? They're telling us that I flood estate has met its target. You know, for the first time for the year, I flood estate, after throwing $30 billion plus dollars into the sugar industry, I flood estate has met its target. You all remember uh, for the first quarter, they were supposed to be uh, producing about 99, uh, about 9,000 tons of sugar, somewhere there about, and they only produced 66. Well, them boys are about, about to break out the champagne and the caviar down there at Eiffel Estate. They said they have surpassed their target by 4%. <laughs> Is that 4% raising wages and salaries of public service? No. Right? They have surpassed their target, I think the weekly target, by 4%. Right? And them boys want increase in wages and salaries by 16. <laughs> Folks. Ghana is the greatest country now. It is the greatest, folks. Greatest. I right? saw a little bit of Barbados, saw a little bit of Trinidad, St. Kitts, St. Nevis, Antigua. Ghana, folks, is the greatest country on earth. 4% barely surpassed the weekly targets. Now, them by one across the board, 16%. But you know, I'm not too worried about them. And who I'm worried about? Why these other unions I'm talking of? Huh? When you can like Lavon Joseph, JG. Glenford Gordon, why some of these other unions not talking? That's what concerns me. That is what, that's what frightens me to know that some of these other guys aren't speaking up for the people they claim to represent and are even being paid to represent. That is very, very frightening. And uh, in other news happening, folks, in other news happening, they're telling us that, uh, or rather, we, we saw over the weekend uh, the authorities sharing out like this. You know, one would think it would be in the interest of speedboat operators that actually provide live vests for the traveling public. And if you are getting into a speedboat and you know those guys don't have a live vest, you're wicked. Right? If you're getting into speedboats and so on and you know those guys don't have live vests in that speed, you're wicked, you're putting your own self at risk. So um, even though it's commendable that the authorities are stepping in, and rightly so, would have loved to see those people who operate these people taking that initiative for themselves because you and I as members of the public would have and should have been insisting that those uh, boats have life jackets, life vests before you enter them. Please, folks, please do not let us get into any speedboat without life vests. Please. And we say those are some of the pandemics we got to be self is what's happening on our waterways, what's happening on our roads, and what is happening in our homes where domestic violence is concerned. What is happening in our home? And, I'm, and we're gathering at this end, folks, some additional information, even though we have some, um, what we're learning about a student from St. Joseph who committed suicide. Right? Who committed suicide in this we are being told is directly related to uh, school-based violence. School-based violence. You gotta tune in tonight for that, because we got a couple things to talk on that, based on what we know at this hour, and what some information we are we are still trying to confirm. We got a couple things to talk on that, but uh, it's commendable 
let me say that it's commendable to see the authorities um, in this initiative giving out like this. But that should have been something that the boat operators should have been eager to pursue because us as a traveling public should have been insisting. And please, guys, insist, insist, insist. Don't get into any speedboat or any boat whatsoever without having your light vest on. Yep, 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 yep. That's one of the other issues we're seeing, folks. In the morning papers, one of the other issues we're seeing in the morning papers. Something else we're seeing in the morning papers, guys. Fuel prices. You know, this is a strange one. The guy said that they have lowered fuel prices yet again. It's quite strange to me because the installed vice president said uh, just a couple of weeks ago that there was no more capacity. There was no more fiscal space to lower the fuel prices. Right? But pressure must spike. And as my aunt Elizabeth would say, you know, pressure make water go uphill. <laughs> so then, boys, pump space. Where there was no space, Nicole Harding, Joy Kozia, they have spunk, they have found space. Where there once was no space, they have found fiscal space. And they have lowered the fuel price. But well, hold on, there's a caveat to that. There's a caveat. You know the same as reading fine prints? Please do that. Read the fine prints, sir. We all have to do that. Read the fine There's a caveat to that. Commendable, Right? The, the fuel prices are going a little lower, you know, as a as a oil producing republic. That's one thing I was vexed with. And I told the lady last night as we uh, came off the airline, they said, welcome to Guyana. Right? They said it with less uh, less flair and fervor than they said, welcome to Trinidad and Tobago. Right? They, you, 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 you got welcome to the Trinidad Republic. I wanted welcome to the oil producing republic of the cooperative oil producing republic. Nonetheless, folks, we can take what we get and wait for what we want. Again, again, the fine print here, the caveat is they're telling us, read the fine print, that these low fuel prices only affect the Gael gas stations. At least that's what we picked up on the graphic. That's what we're picking up in the media. That you have to be buying from Gael gas station for these fuel, these lowered fuel prices to be impactful on your pocket. Right? You remember they couldn't find any more fiscal space and now they find a little more. I don't know what's happening. Right? So I guess if you keep pushing, if you keep drilling down, you can find <laughs> fiscal space. Folks, wherever you're joining us this morning, around the world, and there's so many of you, share the line, smash that emoji button. To all the folks, again, in St. Kitts and Nevis, all the folks in Antigua and Barbie, especially because you guys were so gracious to us during the course of the week. One wish you guys uh, good morning, and those of you joining us around the Caribbean in general, and further, folks, we are scattered people to all the ends of the earth. We want to wish each and every one of you a fantastic morning. Folks, share the light and smash that emoji button for us. Please and thank you. Lower fuel prices. We, we really hope that this uh, comes back as a meaningful benefit, and we would have hoped to see this across the board. But the fine prints, guys, the fine prints. You always got to look at the fine prints. They're telling us it only affects the guy oil service station. Yep, yep, trouble in the dance, folks. Trouble in the dance. Look, what else are we seeing in the morning papers? You know, we were talking last week, uh, uh, I, I think it was uh, Kaichu News, especially, did a lot of reporting on this uh, that the four bidders, uh, the Chinese bidders for the uh, gas to shore pipeline and whales there, all of them were blacklisted by the um, IDB, sorry, by the World Bank. By the World Bank. Now they're saying, no, that is not so. That is not so. Why a certain kind of element, hmm? a certain kind of pedigree of people attracted to this regime? Why is that? You know, it's, it's a little bit unfathomable. John Sullivan, Viola, Kansas. Why is it a certain kind of creature attracted to this regime? Huh? And you only got to look at um, the Anna for Sale, part one and two, and you can see who we're talking about. As a certain Caliban pedigree of people, quote unquote Caliban, quote unquote pedigree of people attracted to this regime. Hmm. Right, so we're watching this. They're saying that they have not been blacklisted by the by the um, by the World Bank, and the information at hand seems to suggest that they have been. But you know, my kind of choice to believe uh, the folks that they show on uh, Vice News and 
this regime that we contend with day after day, right? and what the uh, hard-working journalists and reporters in this country produce, I know I fall in. I know they say they're falling on Beatrice Selby, Rhonda Ferguson and Brenda Moore. I know they say that I'm falling on Carol Rollins and all the other folks. What side you all falling on? Patricia Sinclair? What side you falling on? Patricia and the others are watching us from New York. Yep, yep, yep. Live and direct from New York. What side you all falling on? If you got a choice between the installed regime folks, uh, them boys featured on Vice News, and the hard-working people in the media pursuing the, the truth wherever it leads, who you can believe? Whose report will you believe? <laughs> Good to have each and every one of you here, guys. And those are just some of the things we are following. Are we, do we have anything else? Yep, 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 yep. It gets a little, it gets a little dark now, folks. It gets a little, it gets a little dark because they're telling us uh, that we, we over, the, over the course of the weekend, um, do we have it here? I don't see it here, but we had a we had a stabbing, you know, we had a stabbing over 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 the weekend, uh, where let me get a notation right. Uh, there was a man who was stabbed by a teenager, a twenty nine year old man who was stabbed by a teenager over the weekend. You know, it's the wild wild west, guys. A seventeen year old, right? They were, I I I, I from the report we have, they were drinking and. Somebody said something and rubbed somebody the wrong way and, you know, stabbing incident. The report says that a 29-year-old man on Saturday was stabbed to death. Canal number one, folks. Canal number one on the West Coast, on the West Bank. By a 17-year-old who he had slapped several times. Yeah, who he had slapped several times. Folks, life has become so cheap. And I think people see that on a daily basis and they take pattern. You know, life has become so cheap in this place. 17-year-old, stabbed to death, the 29-year-old. Yep. That's what's making the news this morning, guys. A 17-year-old, stabbed to death, this 29-year-old, Dina Ryan, Ram Churan. Right? Yep. Signs of the times, guys. Signs of the times, indeed. And I think that's as much as it for the morning papers. For the morning papers. I'm on the right track? I think so. <laughs> Trying try to make sure uh, I stick to my notes, guys. Trying to make sure I stick, I stick to my notes. And we had folks to see what's brewing. What's brewing out there? What's brewing out there, guys? That's the focus. We can talk about some of what's brewing outside. Good people. Oh, welcome to uh, Marlon Thomas and welcome to Glanford Gordon and Beryl Crawford and Don Baines and all the other guys who are joining us from around the world. Chin Singh, Henry, welcome to you folks. We turn our attention now. We see some of the things that are brewing internationally, regionally, and locally. I see Lover Joseph is here with us. I see uh, I see, uh, uh, yep, Laverne and Diane and Chin Singh, Marilyn, and all the other guys. Jurita is on a work assignment, guys. Jurita is on a work assignment this morning. I see Marilyn asking the, the, the question, and Amanda similarly. See, y'all got to take me today. <laughs> y'all got to take me today, folks. They're both on work assignments. But look, some of what is, is brewing internationally, good folks. Uh, some of what is brewing on the international scene. And we start with Sweden. The Nobel Prize has gone to Cervante Pabo, who has won the Nobel Prize in medicine. All right. Sweden's Cervante Pabo, I hope I'm recalling this, names, this name right to do the gentleman justice. Cervante. Yep, lots of things are happening internationally. You all following, guys? <laughs> that's, that's why we're here. That's why we're here to help. We only want to help folks, and they're telling us folks, in, in this case, um, Mr. Cervante is an explorer in ancient DNA. That's what they tell us, he's an explorer in ancient DNA, um, and he is a Swedish geneticist. 
and this is the work in which he has won the Nobel Prize for Medicine in. Right? And the Nobel Prize is in uh, psychology or medicine um, and for discoveries that underpin our understanding of how modern day humans evolve from extinct ancestors. Yep, and he has done tremendous work in this stead. And in particular, he was given this prize for discoveries concerning the genomes of extinct homonyms and human evolution. Yep. Bright folks, bright folks, bright folks. The Nobel Prize goes to, yeah. You know some of them folks here had the eyes on the Nobel Prize. You all know that? Yeah. Them guys had the eyes on the Nobel Prize. But I know how that can go down for them. I don't know how they're looking for them. Some folks want the Nobel Prize of Peace. Believe it or not, some want Nobel Prize for the environment and so on. They're ambitious, huh? <laughs> Brother Anderson, the ambitious Adam Gordon, the ambitious Terence Hodge and Lover Joseph, these folks quite ambitious. And congrats to him. Congrats to him. That's not an, that's not an, that's not an easy task at all. And Russia, we've been updating you consistently on what's happening with Russia, good folks. Share the live for us. Smash that emoji button. Some of y'all come and y'all done. Spellbound. Your hand are moving. Transfixed. Let's share the live, guys. Smash that emoji button. You know, two of Putin's allies have spoken out publicly about what is embarrassing Russia in the Ukraine. Right? What is embarrassing Russia in the Ukraine? If you guys have been following, and FYI, Ukraine has retaken several swaths of its land back from Russia's control. And even some that Russia currently claims and holds, folks, um, persons are wonder, wondering if they can hold it for long. Right? Persons are wondering if Russia can hold this, uh, some of the coveted provinces in what the West is calling this sham referendum. A lot of folks are wondering how, how long, how long, folks, can Russia hold on to some of this territory? Well, of course, good folks, it remains to be seen. Right? If you can keep what you kill, what's the point? Huh? If you can keep what you kill, good folks, what is the point? So the, the Ukrainians, as you know, have put up a formidable, a very, very formidable resistance to the Russian forces and have repelled them from several of their key cities. And folks are saying that this is quite an embarrassment. This is quite an embarrassment. And so, as we said, some of Putin's allies have now been speaking out. They've, they found their voice. And they have now been speaking out, good folks. You know, saying, what foolishness is this? We thought we got a bad army. <laughs> we thought we got a big bad army. And we didn't know this war would have lasted so long, among other things. Yep. Yep. Quite an embarrassment. Quite an embarrassment. And some other things we follow internationally, guys. Diane Yearwood and... Ayabu Natasha Congress, Granit Anderson, Laverne Joseph, a uh, couple of other things we are following on the international front, good folks. Here we go. Some other things we're following on, on the international front. Look what's happening. Is that international front? No, that's not international front. That's regionally. Well, can we deem international? Some of the other stuff we are following regionally, good folks. Right next door. Remember that Brazilian election we told you guys about? Well, they're now going to run off because neither candidate, neither candidate, whether it's Lulu, Inacio, De Silva, or the other fellow, Jair Bolsonaro, neither of them have gotten 50% of the vote. Neither of them. Lula De Silva came a little close, former president. He came a little close. He's coming in at about 47 percent of the votes is going to Lula de Silva and about 43 percent has gone to Bolsonaro, Jair Bolsonaro. So they're going to a runoff 
in a couple of days and we're watching that to see how it turns out because you know anything around the region affects each and every one of us and they're our neighbors they're on our borders you all know bolsonaro got some slack screws um ruler is hugely popular and that's why we're not surprised that we're seeing what we're seeing in terms of him leading in the vote count and so we're following that we are following that right following that very 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 closely and we've been telling you how the americans have said they're going to be very quick um as long as it's definitive to see who's the winner of of that election and um the bolsonaro campaign have been warned about the uh, onslaught they've had on the electoral system in brazil some of what's happening right next door some of what's happening good folks right in the region where we are and look what's happening too a little closer is this is this closer mm, yeah on the other side um, we encompassed <laughs> by a great number of foes so venezuela and americans had a trade recently and they swapped some american prisoners for two of maduro's relatives who are being held by the u.s and i really want to know we really want to know this end what else was entailed in this in this deal we really want to know what else is wrapped up in this deal folks in international relations amanzi will tell you rafael chapman will tell you carl Greenwich will tell you that there are no permanent enemies and there are no permanent friends all we got folks all we got a permanent interest yep that's the theme for international relations the mantra there are no permanent enemies there are no permanent friends only permanent interests and so it's not surprising to see the americans swapping prisoners maduro's relatives for some americans held by the authorities there in venezuela yep remember that no permanent enemies no permanent friends only permanent interests so john sud harry Ma uh, maureen williams and gwenad anderson edward brooms unique light please it will serve you guys well <laughs> to remember that please and thank you some other stuff guys going in the region yep 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 you know we got a lot of stuff to deal with in this region we had uh the coronavirus the novel coronavirus with all this mutation the omnicron the ba2 b2a right what else we have in terms of the variant we had we, we, we had all of it we got monkeypox we got chicken gunia now the folks are telling us that they're on the lookout for cholera just when you think you're safe in haiti they're telling us at least seven persons have been killed as cholera returns folks is the end of this i'm just saying tag grazandi chinese man like it's end of this is everything you know monkey pox small cocks chicken gunia you name it bigfoot everything goody everything is and is that is the one time you know everything on your doorstep one time so the folks in haiti now got to be battling with cholera and don't despise them yet because we had a little bit of it here once upon a time we have the own boat our own boat of it right now we're on the lookout for monkeypox we're on the lookout for uh the novel coronavirus as well and we see it consistently on this program guys don't let your guys down or it's gone you're gone the second you let your guys down it's gone them boys gone with you you know color is as real as ever so as much as you can continue to practice all of the covid rather as real 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 as ever continue to practice all of the covid 19 protocols right and this one with social distancing helps too with small cocks i mean monkey box it helps it helps so please be while you are here for a long time most of you are anyhow <laughs> most of you good folks and folks uh, um i think as we come closer to home guys as we come home you know frightening as we begin breast cancer awareness month in respect to women and men 
You know, we see our women folks still being killed with impunity. Namala Sukai's death recently stunned her community. Who would want to kill this young lady? So full of life and vitality. Who would want to take her life? And even though foul play was suspected, folks were hoping it's not so. And now the main suspect in her death, they say, has confessed to choking the life out of her. Father, have his mercies. That's what they're telling us. The main suspect, folks, what happened in this country? 17-year-old killing. People, you know, women are being killed with impunity. You know, mayhem on our waterways. Carnage on our roads. Domestic violence like you've never seen it before. An economy in free fall. This country in a sad state. And there's a sad, sad state of affairs. Good folks. The country is in a very, very sad state. And some folks say we need a day of prayer. Some say it's a week. A month. I think we got to push it a little bit to like a year. Maureen Williams. Sukshan. Sudhari. Beatrice Selby. Mara Ali Cook. I think we got to go like the whole year of prayer. A whole year. If we let mark us, a, whole, a full year. A full year of prayer is what we got to go to soon. Because nothing is regular. You see what's happening in the economy. We can talk about some of that at the back end. But a lot of stuff happening. Right? And as we are in, as we are in death, you know, we saw the transitioning of life to eternity of PP style work. Right? Sohoi Shuri, Philomena Shohoi Shuri, popularly known as the Fireball, a woman who gave her life to politics right up to the age of 91, you know. And irrespective of our differing political um, outlook or differing worldview politically, irrespective of that, you know, what good, Philomena, what good, dedicated her life to her party and live to 91. Should we be so lucky, you know? Should we be so lucky? Should we be so lucky? 90 and 1. Yeah. Folks are even seeing 19. Now, how life has become so cheap. You know? A woman who was very effective in, in her time and served her generation well. Should we be all so lucky? You know? Should we be all so, so lucky? 91 years old. What good? Philomena Sohoi Shuri, PP Stalwart, gone at 91. That being said, folks, some other stuff we're watching locally. You know, our comrade, Royce Dale Ford, who are we going to have on our program during the course of the week, is racking up wins after wins in the court. I don't have anything yet. Win after wins. Right now it's like 60 rise deal, one annual. It's a blowout in the court, folks. It's a blowout. And Royce Dale was voicing his concern recently. With this DPP attempt to remove magistrately run daily. You have been following that. Well, our brothers and sisters in the diaspora, they were livid on this matter. Beatrice, Naomi. Myra, Jewel, they were livid, Gwyneth, on this issue of the DPP, barefacedly, trying to remove magistrate Levan Daly, and Royzeal says it's an affront to the Constitution, and trying to thwart the outcome of this case. Among other things, Senior Counsel Ford said, trying to thwart 
the courts of justice and influence the outcome of this case. Isabella, y'all seeing this foolishness here? You know, when we say Guyana is the greatest country in earth, you know, it's, the, it's these mysteries we look at. And we draw that conclusion. We draw that ineluctable conclusion. As one of my law professors used to say, you know, recently transitioned himself. Yep. Royce didn't have it. You know, the fright, the fright to Royce deal now. They cook it up and hatch it up. All kinds of, all kinds of foolishness. So I guess if you can win the right way, you got to, you know, move some other things, some other elements around. They waiting, they waiting now for them boys expose themselves and the foolishness, you know. And the magistrate was at pains to see how she was following the range of um, of tools at her disposal to kind of bring the young attorney into compliance with what the court's orders were. Oh, downloading is so simple. You are quick for download other videos. But the one you should download, you're downloading. Quick to download some other stuff. But the real stuff, them boys should be downloaded. Eh, eh, they forget. They forget all of that. You know? So we watch it to see how this play out. Folks, we kid you not. Share the like. Smash that emoji button. Ghana is the greatest. You'd never find another country like this. You live three lifetimes. You're going to find one. It is, it is the greatest, you know? <laughs> See, getting cold, folks. The greatest. So we're watching win after win. Rise their fold. Don't remember, guys, a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago, there was an award of a contract, a statement, construction, which is all and managed by hits and jams. And there was so much pushback. I know lots of us wanted to give our brothers the benefit of the doubt that they could do and execute this contract. But Don Sullivan and John Jones, Chin Singh, it is what it is this morning. It is what it is. And Starbuck News entire editorial today is revisiting that Barmeo school contract to build that school at Barmeo in Region 10. The whole editorial. Right. You know, some of us, maybe it's human nature, we want to eat all over. You want to eat in the entertainment industry, we want to eat in the construction industry. I don't know when the hotel is going to finish building, you want to eat in the, um, what, what, what industry is that? The tourism, the hotel industry. We want it all over. You know? Sabak News is happening this morning, though. Here's Sabak News said, Bamia School contract revisited. This is not us. It's not up, new AFC. You can take this to the bank. Well, bro, Jenny's Booker, Gloria Fraser, you can take it to the bank. Gloria Fraser, Don Edwards Dixon, Onika Light, Pamela Johnson, Horika, Horika, Harika, you can take it to the bank. I am on Chinsing. Here's what Abu News says. All of the principles of the company, this is statement construction, have had long standing ties with the PP government. Uh huh? Let me read again. All of the principles of the company have had long-standing ties with the PPPC government. Friends and family and favorites. The members of Empatab. Right? This is the, uh, the tendering and procurement body. Were single-handedly appointed by the government. And the committees evaluating bids and making decisions were enlisted by those at the head of the procurement board. Starbuck News goes on to make the point. Billions 
of dollars and monies belonging to the people of this country are being handed out by this government on large and small infrastructural projects. Value for money then is expected and this is intrinsically tied to whether the best contractors are being chosen by the evaluation committee. Value for money is expected and this is intrinsically tied to whether the best contractors are being chosen, folks, by the evaluation committee. Yep. And you all know, the best we ever had, Professor Burnham, he said it's important. You know, it's, it's a sign of a first-rate intellect, an intellectual, not only to read what is on the line, but what is between the line. Friends and family and favorites. That's how this country is run. You can't run a country like that. You're going to run into problems. Friends, family, and favorites. Nope. nope. It's not going to work, good folks. It's not going to work. And we, we, we're happy to see people progress. But the point that this contract has been stalled now for weeks, the fact that this contract has been stalled now for weeks, is very, very surprising. Or is it? Because we saw the pushback. I've even had um, my brother from Hits and Jams on our evening program, our affiliate program in the ring, to talk about that same statement construction issue. When there was lots of uh, pushback from the public on the award of that contract. And now here we are, months later, and the project has stalled. And Starbuck News reports when they contacted statement construction, they're telling them, oh, the contract installed, they just scaled down. They just scaled down, the contract installed. And then when they spoke with Nigel Damlal, whose ministry tendered for this project and not Region 10, when they spoke to Damlal, they're telling us, he didn't know the project stalled. You see, you gotta find out. You know, the damn is a minister in any government. Oh, my Lord. It's one of the wonders of our time. You know? One of the wonders. He said, he ain't though, but he going to find out. Nobody didn't tell you it's Stalin, so. He going to find out. Well, yes, it is. It is. It is what it is. I think to finish there, folks, as we reflect this morning, right, as we reflect, on the biggest you, on the biggest you. <laughs> oh, we got content with the done some lies on the PVP. Let's take a sip of this little black tea. <laughs> we got content, Marilyn, with the done some lies of them boys, my lord. We got content with the Angon, Anna. <laughs> we got content. First thing, let me deal with some preliminary issues quickly. As we get on to the big issue, you're ever going to pick a struggle. You know, right? You're going to pick a struggle. One day you hear jet black, next day gray. Sometimes we recognize you. Pick a struggle. You know, that's number one. Let me give it up. Pick a struggle. The airfront you see today might not be the same airfront you see tomorrow. Right? Next story. You're ever going to decide. Well, he wants to be known as Windong Ali, as I hear them young people say now. Windong Ali. How he wants to be a good installed president. You got to pick a struggle. Eh? You got to pick a struggle. You want to be known as Windong Ali. Since the music thing. Eh? He think techie. And he start, he start Windong Dog. Since the 10 cup nap. You find pelting ways. You got to pick a struggle. You're going to want to be Windung Ali or you're going to want to be a good installed president. You know, little Windy Levin now and again is no harm. You know, I mean, I'm not again, you can teeth a little bit. You can't be winding down every day, man. No matters the states and grappling with your attention. Huh? 
It's like um, the, 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 the other one, um, that from Ministry of Foreign Affairs, you know? You can think of it's your state grabbing your attention. Huh? You got to pick a struggle. You want to be known as Wendell Ali? Or a good installed president? You know, use the time, the little time you got wisely. Marilyn Thomas? Donna? They got to use the little time they got wisely. Glenn Ford? You know what strikes me here? You know what strikes me here? Is the hypocrisy. Because I remember the mayor did a little thing on a stage that hit St. John's had a, I think it was their anniversary they were celebrating outside of Starbuck Market. Yes, St. John's had a little thing and the mayor shake a little bit. But the monk is shaking between Airfan and the backballing first lady. I don't know. I just I just I just don't know. Right? I just don't know. I'd love to hear um Robes and Ben and that because Robes and Ben are taking exception to the mayor, you know. And they don't ascribe the same things they ascribe to Airfan and Ariel. They didn't. Oh, they're young. Well, the mayor old apparently. The mayor old. Well, you go down the road. Why not Ali? You go down. You go down. What's I can say? You go down the break. But I want to talk about some of the lies before you all run off. Now, look, look, your friend Gail. Gail, the wrong long boy. Shucks. Mm -mm. Is that the Gail knows some good skincare products, sir? Vampirism. So Gail is telling us this morning that the Honorable His Excellency Aubrey Norton leave the opposition, leave the PNCR, is thwarting every attempt by government at inclusivity. Folks, folks, this one, this one, one more people. Gail Teixeira, you will for it, telling us that efforts, attempts, by Wendong Ali regime at inclusivity are being thwarted. Absolute nonsense. Absolute foolishness. Right? This is reverse psychology. This is reverse psychology that is aimed at that growing dissension and discontent. With this emerging apartheid state. That's what them boys hitting at here. You know? Mr. Norton. Don't like inclusivity. He's trying to twat. Uh, is who doing all of them unilateral appointments? Hmm? Is who focusing on friends, family and favorites? What's that one? I who stood up and say if... We release to the public the streets that are being done, the roads that are being rehabilitated is going to destabilize social cohesion. The same folks. I think the Honorable Gail share probably got some names mixed up. You know, he'll probably mix up a couple names. The Honorable Gail share <laughs> She mixed up some names. Who really trying to twerk? Inclusivity and social cohesion. You know, since the Americans start talking about there should be inclusivity, it's then like they they recognize there's such a word. The Americans had to hit them over the head, give them some uppercuts and two high falls, and then they realize, oh yes, there's such a thing as inclusivity. And now bringing a charge against Mr. Norton is trying to twat social cohesion. Social cohesion. You ever hear such foolishness in your life with these boys? Mr. Norton trying to thwart social cohesion. Folks share the line, <laughs> smash the emoji button. So other folks can see and know the lies and how to recognize them. Absolute lie and foolishness. And then we got our friend, good Zulfi. Zulfi Karamusifa will have us believe all oh, the contract. To supply rice to Panama was corrupt. Ah. 
oh, oh, oh. The contract to supply rice to Panama was corrupt. Right? It was corrupt. Yet, he fixed it here. Two years out. Two years out. Could Zulfian fix the contract to Panama as yet? This is like them boys campaigning. Saying how, oh, this Exxon Mobil contract is corrupt. Brought us in. And we're going to fix it for you. Right? We're going to get a better deal. Right? Because we, like Donald Trump, we know the art of the deal. Wasn't that the promise? How are we looking? Besides Tim. How are we out here looking? Two years out, them boys saying, oh, um, sanctity of contracts. Hmm? Sanctity of contracts. They even get a half percent more royalty. They even get a quarter percent more. Sanctity of contracts. They hug up that now. And I wish I had more time because we have uh, the heavyweights, the experts in oil and gas telling us that this thing can be changed. That production sharing agreement of 2016, if the People's Progressive Party, Civic, the install regime, if they want to change, it can change. But they don't want it to change. So it's not enough for a city minister install, albeit, to say, oh, this contract was corrupt. And two years out, what have you done? Right? Two years out, what have you done? But you know what? Folks like Zulfika and Mustafa, they want to distract from the real issues. Because, you know, agriculture is doing so much on him, you know. It's not doing so well on the export. Zulfika and Mustafa. And they are very half here reporters telling us that. But you know what, folks? They tell us, when you can baffle, <laughs> when you can dazzle with brilliance, you baffle with excrement. Trying to be soft on y'all because it's Monday morning. It's early. Early in the week, early in the day. You can't dazzle with brilliance. You baffle with fecal matter. Now look some of the economy. Under two zulfi. Eh? Two zulfi. Sugar. Under the same fella. Who talking about corrupt contract? Who the alleging corrupt contracts? Look sugar under Zulfi Kai Mustafa. They projected right? sugar production will increase by 11.8%. Their prediction, sugar gone down only by 59.9. Not much. Uh, only 55.9. But so if we know about corrupt contract, he will know corrupt contract if it's land in the head. Cute Zulfi. <laughs> right? It's the corrupt contract. Right? You know what he did share now the fishing license while the rest the friends and family. The travel license. But corrupt contract. You know them. Look rice under them boys. They said they can improve rice production by 25.1. First quarter, second quarter. Rice production down by 22.4. Right? Yeah, yeah. Blame corrupt contract. Don't blame it. You are only incompetence. Blame corrupt contract. Don't blame your own incompetence. This is the this is that's that's the agriculture sector, you know. He distracted. Fish. You see why them fish them the, the fishermen start grumbling. Here's why. Zulfi, to Zulfi. Then he's champion collision. Tommy Gibbs, Isabella Butchers, Ingrid King, them boys promise fish production will increase by 5.8. It went down by 19%. The sex on mobile chasing with the fish. Huh? The grand bar for out, he said, no, no, no. They're chasing the fish in the nets. Right? The fact remains by their own admission, fish production. Down by 19%. Right? Ask to Zulfi. Distracted. Goal. 
production down everything down under them everything gold production is down across the board right manufacturing is down to do if you all that you are looking back then by his contract with Panama for rice never mind rice and sugar had the highest production under the after AFC never mind that right and across the board everything down you see this is the non oil economy. This is why St. Winston Jordan says the Dutch disease with us. Because every sector that's supposed to be thriving is like banyan tree under these boys. Sugar down, rice down, fish production down, manuf manufacturing sector down, gold is down. And that's it. We can take it to the bank. They can take that to the bank. Because that's, that's how it is on that point, folks. Those are the facts of the matter. They can take that to the bank. They can take that to the bank. Yep. The man distracted by corrupt contract. He ain't change it, though. He ain't change it. Hmm? This is the same fellow who shared out trolley license. Why less? Friends, family, and favorites. Same friend who can't get a proper contract with the Solomese, with Tandrika Pesat Santoki for the quarantine fishermen. But you look and see what the other people do. You look and see what the other people do. What have you done with rice? What have you done with sugar? What have you done with fish? What have you done? You're looking back. Because you can reverse into the future. How are you going for y'all? <laughs> folks we're going to see you guys right back here we're going to see you guys right back here at 12 from below the belt we continue this discussion that's our time we've gone a little past we know you guys got to go on to some other things other shows other programs other places some of you heading to work heading home got other things to do you're on the move and we're happy with that folks we're happy with that it's been a privilege having you guys here with us you all remember guys please remember it is uh it is breast cancer awareness month Right. Please remember that. Breast Cancer Awareness Month, guys. And, yep. Remember that. Remember that. Remember that. They're telling us a lot of things where breast cancer is concerned. And allow me briefly to go through some of them. We think you wonderful, beautiful folks are to be aware about. They are telling us, good folks, that this dreaded disease affects a lot of folks, a lot of people. And should concern all of us, men and women. You know, lots of men don't believe that they can be affected by this. They think it's only women, but men. We are understanding more and more, even though it's very small numbers. More and more are being affected by breast cancer, like anything else. Early detection makes a difference. Early detection makes all the difference in the world. Uh, they're telling us that this year's theme is together we can, right? You see, that, that sounds better than one, one, you know, the fake and fictitious. Together, together we can. I uh, believe it or not, breast cancer awareness uh, started in 1985. They're telling us it started in 1985 with individuals, businesses, and communities coming together in October to show support for the many people affected by breast cancer. Breast Cancer Awareness Month right, is a time to reflect and to give back and to celebrate the strides that have been made. This year's theme, of course, is Together We Can. Together We Can. Believe it or not, folks, believe it or not, as we said earlier, in 2022 alone, there's expected to be 290,000 new cases of invasive breast cancer, right? Of invasive, of which they're, uh, they're expecting um, 54 point, sorry, 54, 51,000 persons that have non-invasive breast cancer. And they're telling us that an estimated 43,000 persons this year alone will lose their lives internationally, around the world, right? To metastatic breast cancer. Screening, early screening, early detection is the way to go, folks. Together we can. 
right? And this can is an acronym. The folks are telling us this can is an acronym. Together we can. The good folks are telling us is an acronym. And bear with us, folks, before we go. Bear with us what the acronym means. And that's why we're pinking out two vex lows. That's why we're pinking out all month to celebrate. Right? To bring focus, to bring attention. They're telling us, together we can, C-A-N. The C is for change the conversation on breast cancer. The A is for assist those impacted by breast cancer to get the information they deserve and need. And the N is to nurture and build a community of support. Together we can change the conversation, assist those impacted by breast cancer to get the information to do, they deserve rather and need to assist those impacted by breast cancer and to get them the information they deserve and need and to nurture and build a community of support. Right? High good ideals for us to strive for, not only strive for, to accomplish as well. Folks, so happy Breast Cancer Awareness Month and we're going to be telling you more and more as we go down the road, good folks. That's our time, that's our program, Naomi Drucker. We're pinking out all month. Good to see you, Naomi Drucker and Karen. Welcome, Bernard Anderson and Marla Alicock. Marla, Marla Alicock and Pamela December. Anne Marie Roberts is here with us. Isabella Butters, too. Uh, is it Uverne Henry? I, I always think I pronounced it right. You, Uverne Henry could be Uverne Henry. Uh, Diane Grizandi and all you other beautiful folks. Good to have you here. And thanks for showing up in your hundreds this morning for valid, credible information. We're going to see you guys right back here at 12 for Below the Belt. And it's a privilege, guys, having you folks. Leonard Fraser, I am on Natasha Congreves. All the folks, Viola Kansas, all the folks out of Antigua and Barbuda. Yeah, Denise especially, Denise especially. Good to see you. Good to have you guys here. And also all the guys down there in St. Kitts and Nevis. Thanks for you again, again, and again for your hospitality, your love, and your support, guys. Share the like, smash that emoji button, and partner with us. This is how we do it, folks. This is how we do it. Your love, your support, and your generosity. Keeps us going. Choose to partner with us today. The same way you choose to share the light and smash that emoji. But choose to partner with us. That's our time, folks. And that's our program. Stay safe, guys.